He looks like he eats a lot of candy. I do love food. I, uh, I even enjoy watching people make food. But you ever notice the Food Network? What it do? You know what it is? It's Jaded Boy here, and today is something totally different. I'm excited about this because it's something that I always want to do. Like um, when I was small, I wanted to be a chef, and that dream kind of crashed a little bit because I realized, do I really want to be over a kitchen my whole life? And unless you're on TV and being a huge chef, you don't make that much money. So. I decided to do other things. But anyways, I decided that I'm gonna do something on my channel, because like I said in the beginning, my channel's gonna be about everything. I'm gonna have uh, pranks, everything you think of. You know, I don't wanna have just one, just one thing on my page, but anyways, I call this Cooking with Jada Boy. And what made me have this idea, I was like, man, I always create new things have different ideas and stuff like that. So why not show the world and show people who watch my page what's going on? Anyways, what I created is something I think is awesome. I call it Zawini. Don't ask me why I created that name, because it's Zawini. And if that's somebody else's thing, it's food, I'm sorry. I apologize, no credit taken, but Zawini. Um, I'm not even gonna explain to you guys. You guys are gonna see. I mean, it tastes amazing. Honestly, I I was hungry and I put it together because I didn't have any hot dogs or chicken or anything else to put in there. But yeah, Zoini. I guess you want to spell it would be maybe Z W E E N I E Zoini. Or maybe you add A. I don't know. But anyways, let's go cook. So now I'm just showing you all the ingredients that you need. You know, turkey sausage, mac and cheese, whole milk, slim milk, whatever type of milk you use. You need a strainer, you need some salt, and you need a nice big round pot to make your stuff. But that's pretty much all you need, and a spoon too, or a fork, whatever you like to do to mix your um, ingredients together. Now, the first thing you want to do before you cook anything is always rinse it out. Always make sure it's clean, even though it's clean already, but still rinse it out just to make sure, because you never want to use a dirty pot or mix anything else in there. Oh, yeah. It's hard to do a video with one hand. <laughs> so now we're going to add the water to the pot. Um, You don't need a measuring cup, because you're just boiling the macaroni and cheese. So just put a good amount to where it can boil the macaroni and cheese. Oh yeah, pour that water. <laughs> but yeah, just pour a good amount and yeah. And as you can see, my water is in a sweet tea. As you watched my earlier video, sweet tea, Caribbeans. So now you turn the water on high just to get it heat up faster. You know, turn it on high. In the meantime, you're gonna take out your sausage. It could be pork or whatever, but I typically use turkey because I can't eat pork products. So take it out so it can thaw out and just bring it over to the sink and you know rinse it under some hot water or some people like to put um, a bowl of hot water and put it in there but I just rinse it under for a little bit because meanwhile the macaroni and cheese is cooking that will be um, thawing out because we're gonna need to slice it up later so yeah just run it under to it maybe like two one or two minutes that's all you really need to do now since the water is boiling up, you need to add a little bit of salt, maybe a pinch of salt. Whoa, I put a little too much in there, but you know, just mix it up. Just mix it in there, kind of stir it around maybe a couple times. And that's all you really need. You don't need to add any other flavor unless you do that, but I think salt is good enough. Then you want to get open up the macaroni and cheese. It's kind of hard with one hand, so just give me a second. Yeah, I had to open it without the camera. But anyways, now you just want to pour it in there. Nice and slow, don't want to burn yourself. And then you go ahead and grab your spoon or fork that you're using and just stir it because you don't want it to stick to the bottom. And you just want to stir for a couple of minutes. Because what I realized about macaroni and cheese, if you don't stir it when you first put it in there, it will start to stick 
and end up burning on the bottom. So just mix it around. I know macaroni and cheese is harder to make than you thought. But just mix it around and keep it there for a good, boil it for a good like 10 to 15 minutes. It depends how soft or hard you want it. I like mine pretty soft. So then you're gonna grab or go get your sausage, whatever type you have, open it up, and it's time to cut it up because we have to fry it. I mean, you don't have to fry it. You know, if you're trying to eat more healthy, then you could bake it, but however you wanna cook your sausage, but I'm showing the way that I'm doing it to make the zucchini. You wanna take it out. It's kinda hard, it's a little frozen still, but it's not that frozen. But you wanna take them out and take each one out and you kinda wanna just be careful with the knife. Um, slice it, each piece about, a, uh, I would say maybe two pennies, a penny size kinda, and it's not, you don't want it too thick or too thin, but just a good size to where you can eat it. And you wanna have a good size to where it's not like disappearing when you're eating it either. And yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do. I mean, you can cut it however you want to, but as you can see, it's in a circle. I mean, you can do squares or whatever, but that's pretty much it. I'm deciding that I should actually cut it again because I think it's a little too big. So I'm slicing them all in half again one more time. I mean, you can slice them in four if you want, but I'm slicing them again in just a half. So, you know, slice it one time and then slice it in half. And yeah, that's all. And then I'm gonna get the fryer ready and fry it up. As you can see, the pasta is done now. Um, you can test it in many ways. You can either put it on a, uh, put it in your hand or taste it. I usually taste it to see if the texture is how I like it. So I mean, it all depends with you is how you like it. But yeah, you can just put it and take it out and put it on a little board and kind of just squish it and see if that's the way you like it. I mean, it was pretty good for me. And yeah, just test it. And I believe that it is actually good. It's the best way for me is just to taste it and see how it is and see if that's how you want it. So you want to take it off the fire. As you can see, I'm adding some water to it because I let the water dry out. I didn't put enough water. So now I'm just, you know, putting extra water in there just to kind of stir it around to make sure nothing sticks to the bottom. Just mix it around before I um, pour it out and strain it. And it won't affect it in any way. You know, I'm just trying to make sure nothing sticks and everything like that. So, you know, just mix it around for a little bit. Make sure nothing sticks in the bottom. If, if you feel stuff on the bottom, don't rub it because it's probably burnt. So, then you go to your strainer and you pour it in there nice and slow to make sure that it doesn't splash out and do it somewhere where you won't, you won't make a mess and just make sure everything is out and then you can put it to the side and let it keep draining but as you can see i told you in the beginning that sometime it does stick so this is the same pot we're going to use again because i hate using other pots i mean the best thing to do is use another pot but i'm just showing you you know, if you use the same pot, just scrub it and clean it out so that when it's time to put all the things together that is ready and make sure you wash it really good. And then you're gonna put it back into the pot once you finish rinsing it out so we can use it again. And you're just gonna put it on the stove to the side where it's not on, because you don't want it to burn. So put it to the side and then now it's time to fry up your sausage or chicken or whatever you're gonna use. But in this video, we're using sausage for the zucchini. We're using turkey sausage. And you know, put it on maybe like on six, not too hot. Then now you're gonna put your sausage in the fryer. And then you see it's frying up like that. But yeah, and then you wanna just mix it around. I'm using a knife, don't mind me. But you should use your fork. But yeah, you just mix it around. You wanna to continue to mix it so all the sides can kinda of get cooked for a little bit. Cause I mean, sausage doesn't really need to be cooked. It just kinda of needs to heat up. But I feel like frying the sausage gives it more flavor. I don't know why. 
I don't know all the good details, but just keep mixing it up and I'll bring it back to when it's almost done. And now it's done. So as you can see, it has brown and that's how when you know it's pretty much done when it starts having a little crisp to it. And then you're gonna get a plate and put it on some paper so that some of the oil can leak out because you don't want an oily macaroni and cheese or no, actually zucchini. So, you know, put it aside, kind of feel it around like that. Wipe off some of the oil and then you want to get your pot and put it on the fire again. See, it's kind of dried up now, but that's where your milk comes into hand. So you're going to pour a little bit of your milk, not a lot, a little bit into the pot. I say maybe half of a cup and then you're gonna mix it around because you know the macaroni and cheese been sitting there for maybe a good two minutes so it's probably a little dry so you're gonna mix it around just to make sure all the macaroni and cheeses are a little um, lubricated or wet as they would say um, yeah just mix it around in there and then you will know when it's all mixed because all of it will be in there. And keep it on a low. You don't want it on a high because we're not trying to burn it. It says high right now it's because I just want to speed it up. Then you grab your cheese. If it's could be liquid cheese or powdered cheese. But with this brand, it is powdered cheese. So you just want to sprinkle it all over it. Put all of it in there. Don't want to leave any. And then now you're gonna just mix it up. Continue to mix it until all of the cheese is kind of dissolved. And you will know, just keep mixing and mixing and mixing and mixing. I'm cooking up the pot, y'all. Yeah. Ooh. See the flick of my wrist, you know? Um, I gotta flick of the wrist on point. <laughs> but yeah, just continue to mix until all of it dissolves. And then you will put the sausage in once it's all mixed up and stir it all together so you know grab your sausage and just dump it in there don't make a mess now you don't want to waste any of the sausage and you want to you know turn it off actually turn the stove off because it's already heating up you hear a little bubbling you don't want that you don't want to cook it anymore and you're just going to continue to keep mixing it and just mixing it and mixing and mixing, and mixing. I mean, this this will work on your flick of the wrist, so you won't have any problem with flicking the wrist later on. So you're gonna be a professional flick of the wrist person, thanks to me. But yeah, just mix it around, and there you go. There is your zoini. I mean, honestly, it's the best, and I think you're gonna love it. It's honestly, the flavor is so good. Once it's done, you wanna add a little parsley on top of it, to you know spice it up make it look like a restaurant you know what i mean i forgot to put that in the beginning of the video but at least your little parsley put a little leaf on the side <laughs> yeah i'm a professional look at that so good oh my gosh make it now i just want to say thank you so much for watching this video i hoped you loved it and if you would like me to do more videos like this let me know um Comment down below, like it up, share it up. If I get over, let's see, 50 likes, I'll do more videos like this. If not, I'll still do more videos like this. Let's go, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, because I enjoy this, you know. Those who watch my channel, learn something new. Those who are just coming, you know, keep watching. There's going to be so much in store. And I should be making a Chick-fil-A um, Oreo um, shake today and I should be putting that up maybe later this today tonight or maybe tomorrow morning but y'all know what it is and I love you guys straight positive vibes that you know all we do is get positive vibes I love y'all but you ever notice the food network is far more interesting when you're hungry when you're full you're like this is stupid <laughs> but when you're hungry the food network